Hi, and welcome to the Get Started Fast with Avid Pro Tools S6 video series. My name is Gil Gowing, Pro Audio Solutions Specialist for Avid. In this video, we're going to take a look at the soft key sections of the S6 Master and Automation Modules. The S6 Master Module has two 15-button soft key panels that are programmed independently from one another. Each panel is set up with similar types of functions. There are six switches on either side of the panel that are for functions, and three switches at the bottom for navigating that panel. There is also a preference that will turn off the switch LEDs as an option. This video will go over the soft key set for Pro Tools 11. The left panel is programmed for main automation modes, editing functions, and metering preferences. Page 1, Automation 1, is the main automation mode selections, along with Due to All, Due to Selected, and Automation Action functions. Page 2 is a page that you can jump to any of the other pages on this panel with a single switch push. You can get to this page from the Automation 1 page by pressing the switch at the bottom of the panel, Page Menu. Where the Home switch would normally be on other panels, there is a jump switch back to the Automation 1 page. Edit 1 is basic editing commands and track creation and deletion. Edit 2 are clip editing commands and basic MIDI event operation commands. Playlists are commands for working with playlists. The Bypass menu page lets you bypass or mute groups of inserts or sends. The Clips menu page is all about editing clips, from working with clip groups to adjusting clip gain. The MIDI event menu page is dedicated to editing for MIDI data. The right side menus are for changing the meter types in Pro Tools 11 or higher for channel and master metering, setting gain reduction preferences, as well as enabling the mini fader views for sends in the Pro Tools mixer window. The right panel on the master module is for session management and tools and setup. Page 1, Session Management 1, is programmed to open various windows, as well as create or suspend groups. Page 2, Session Management 2, are all file menu commands, such as creating a new session, saving the session as a new name, and importing session data. There is also a function programmed, Open Recent, that will switch to page 4 and have a list of the 10 most recent sessions to open. Page 3, Tools and Setup, has specialized tools such as Beat Detective and Elastic Properties, as well as operation functions such as Playback Engine and Preferences. There is a switch on page 1, Snapshots, that will take you to the area that allows you to capture and recall snapshots in Pro Tools HD. 48 snapshots are available on pages 5 through 12. The S6 Automation Module also has two 15-button panels that are programmed independently from each other. The switches are set up the same as the panels on the Master Module. The left panel is programmed for automation functions. Page 1, Automation 2, handles all of the advanced automation modes, such as Preview and Capture, as well as Auto Match and Manual Write 2 commands. Page 2, Automation 3, are all the Automation Enable commands, as well as the Write on Stop commands. Page 3, Automation 4, have VCA and Trim actions, Latch Prime on Stop, and other automation actions. Page 4, Automation 5, is programmed for the Automation Special Editing commands. The right panel is programmed for Transport Controls, Tools and Modes, as well as Special Functions. Page 1, Transport Extras 1, is programmed for different transport modes, as well as Save, Undo, and Redo commands. There is a switch programmed at the top left to take you to the wheel functions, as well as scrolling settings, on page 14. There is also a memory locators switch program that will switch you to the first memory locators page, page 4. There are 10 memory locator pages, 4 through 13, that give the user access to 100 locators. On each page, there are 10 locators, as well as switches programmed to create or delete a locator. At the bottom, as with all pages after the first page, there is a home key to take the user back to the first page of that panel. Page 2, Transport Extras 2, gives access to all the record modes, as well as Back, Back and Play, Machine Equals Transport, and Delay Compensation Enable Disable. Page 3, Tools and Modes, are the main editing tools and modes. With S6 version 1.2, there is now a soft key editor that allows the user to customize and save soft key sets. To get to the editor, 
Press the setting switch on the lower half of the master module and then select soft keys from the menu at the top of the touchscreen. Here, you can select to edit either the master module or automation module soft keys. Other areas of the console will be added in future software upgrades. Once you decide on which soft key area to edit, you can then either edit a particular soft key on a page or create a new page to add commands to. You can use any Yukon command or make page jumps. Each key can be color coded, named, and even be assigned an icon. Each page can be titled and given a color to give better indication as to what type of commands are on that page. If you do ever get your soft key set in a state where it needs to be reset, just press the factory default switch at the bottom of the touchscreen. The S6 soft keys were set up to give the power user access to the functions needed as quickly as possible. Being that each panel is independent from the others allows certain functions on one panel to stay accessible while switching another panel to an entirely different set of functions. And with the soft key editor, you can create and customize the soft keys to fit your needs and workflows. Thanks for watching and let S6 inspire your creativity.